How are earthquakes measured? A seismometer is a device that detects and records the ground motion in an earthquake. When there is an earthquake, seismic waves spread out from the earthquake's focus and carry energy through the interior of the earth. The epicenter is directly above the focus. The shaking from an earthquake gets weaker as the distance from the epicenter increases. Seismic waves can be measured anywhere on the Earth's surface using seismographs. Traditional seismographs have a pen that hangs in the air. The pen touches a roll of paper called a drum. When an earthquake occurs, the drum shakes and moves against the pen. The pen does not move because a weight holds it still. The marks on the paper show the size of the earthquake. A small motor continuously rolls the drum of paper. Modern seismometers have electromagnetic sensors that convert ground motions into electrical signals. These signals are processed by the instrument's digital circuits and presented on a display screen or paper printout as a seismogram. Scientists have seismometers set up all over the world. In the event of an earthquake, all seismometers start measuring seismic waves. Using measurements from three or more seismometers, scientists can tell where an earthquake focus was located. The Richter scale is a standard scale used to compare earthquakes. It is a logarithmic scale, which means that the numbers on the scale measure factors of 10. So, for example, an earthquake that measures 3.0 on the Richter scale is 10 times larger than one that measures 2.0, and an earthquake that measures 4.0 on the Richter scale is 10 times larger than one that measures 3.0. On the Richter scale, anything below 2.0 is undetectable to most people and is called a microquake. Moderate earthquakes measure between 5.0 and 5.9 on the Richter scale. Major earthquakes measuring more than 7.0 can cause significant damage. The biggest quake in the world since 1900 measured 9.5 on the Richter scale. It shook Chile on the 22nd May 1960.